So um, let's start with what's new uh, with Sustainable Green Team this month. Uh, with Sustainable Green Team, we're, we're planning a, we're, we're envisioning an engagement in the Middle East, um, where where we give a a, um, a visual representation to people who will come to COP28, which will be held in Dubai, of what can be done by the combination of the technology we bring and the capacity that SGTM brings. So we're planning um, to build out of coloured mulch in the desert a flag that people can fly in over and see from, from the air. And under that, we're planning to improve the soil using local waste incubated with our technology to grow water underneath the flag and grow plants through the flag so people can, as they come in to prepare for COP28 over the next 12 months, uh, they can learn what kind of leadership is in that region that has taken up this kind of technology to, at scale, improve the desert. Mm -hmm. And then what about the event in Florida? We were lucky enough to be invited by the management team of SGTM uh, on the 15th and 16th of December to their inaugural global convention. So both Ken and I are featured speakers there, featured guests. What we hope to do is to broaden the relationships with all of the team and also to extend that knowledge transfer, uh, the training component uh, of which I am responsible no. all over the world. And um, just talk about 2023. I mean, we're looking ahead to a new year. What are your goals, missions for next year? Maybe you could both weigh on this. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the ultimate objective is to, to have an impact on 25% of the world's arable land. So to have a, a component that's added, adding um, the rebuilding of that much land. That's millions and millions and millions of acres. Not such an easy task. So in 2023, we want to build that capacity. We can do some of that here in the US. We'll do some in other parts of the world. Um, together with SGTM, that means we'll be collecting and securing feedstock to build the catalyst for soil in a number of locations all over the US. And then we'll be partnering with people who are users of that, so large agricultural uh, uh, producers and uh, people who want to do um, a, a, a you know, social responsibility um, um, or have a social responsibility impact on large areas of land. We're, we're forming partnerships there. So 2023 looks very interesting. One of the key elements for us as well is to expand into the retail area in the US. So we've already seen a big uptake in interest in home gardeners, in people growing small vegetable farms. Uh, those people, those potential customers are very keen to get their hands on humusoil and we are really keen to be able to, to get out there and help them learn how to use it. So don't forget that the US is in drought in 2023 almost the whole country. So a lot of the water that's left is being used by cities. So to the extent that every American can get the humus soil and mulch in their yard to prevent the water going out of their soil, or their grass dying, for example, to the extent that that can happen, water can be diverted back to agriculture. It's a drought, We've got to think about that kind of thing. So, so uh, uh, in the Middle East, in the region in general, um, there are some available organic materials. One of them is, uh, is human waste, biosolids. Another is food waste. Uh, in order to process those two elements safely, you also need a carbon-based, a fibre-based um, material to, to join with those in the safe processing of, of that material so that you can use it back in agriculture. So the intention is to help with that, we, we bring material um, that's already been processed, that's already had that process kick-started in it, and speed up the processing of those two um, huge waste volumes, millions and millions of tonnes of food waste, and millions and millions of tonnes of, of biosolids that are currently sitting unused. So bringing them together with wood waste and carbon-based material, wood fibres from, from here, that we've processed and you know, carefully taken care of, Putting that in the process of, means that's available for use in, in repairing soil in the region. So, so we, we've, we've had the uh, good fortune of visiting um, with the, the uh, governments and representatives from various governments in a, a number of different countries uh, in the region. I think it's no secret that there are numerous um, very well-intentioned programs to restore trees and vegetation in, in each of the countries in, in the region. Um, we see that as real world leadership. 
that you know we can talk about impacts in, in, in managing various things in policy but a policy that says we want to actually rebuild the soil and rebuild the vegetation that's that's a real thing so there are some very strong um, uh, leaders in the region that we want to deliver some success to and then feature their success awesome thank you guys